because I was kind of thrown into this whole homemaking thing, and especially being somebody who was married young. I always wanted to be married. Good morning. Good morning, let's go. Come on. I made white bread yesterday, which is so uncharacteristic of me. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. This is the chaos that I woke up to this morning. My kitchen counter has a bunch of stuff on it. My vacuum for some reason. My husband's passport for some reason. Thankfully, that's a basket of clean clothes that I just need to fold. And my mail. And my dogs are fighting because they are so excited to go to the park. This is real life. <laughs> and there are people outside finishing my backyard. So it's a very chaotic day today. Hello everyone, welcome to the vlog. I am so happy you're here. Don't forget to like this video continue to comment. I love seeing your comments and talking with all of you friends and don't forget to subscribe. So I wanted to show you some of the products that I use for sunscreen. I will link them all down below. The reason that I'm inspired to do this is just because as some of you know my mom has a rare form of melanoma and if I can inspire anybody in any way to incorporate more sunscreen into their daily beauty routine I consider that a win because I can't Care about your emotional well-being your happiness but also your health because I would love for you all to stick around for longer and we can be friends for years to come so blue I'll show you blue come here blue come here come here honey He doesn't like it. Whoops! <laughs> he has sensitive eyes, so I have to put eye drops in his eyes. He hates it, as you can tell. Now, we're gonna get the jobs ready. So cute. Are you waiting for me? Are you waiting for me? Where's the other ones? Hi, Bella. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the vlog today. This is going to be kind of a request because I've received a lot of people asking to see more of my dogs. I've even had a few people reach out to me and ask me to make an account for my dogs. And that takes a lot of work, so I don't know if I'm ready to put... Hello there that kind of work into it but i thought maybe i would incorporate some more information about my dogs in the vlogs so we are about to go on our daily routine for the summer it is um we go to a park but before that we go and meet our lovely friends at the mcdonald's drive through who absolutely love our dogs and i get an iced coffee and then we head to the park after i get a water for them so they are nice and hydrated so i'll see you then okay Buka. Hey, right there, look. Now I won't drink. <laughs> the other ones. Oh, wait, I have to give it to them. They are used to walking with each other because we used to live in downtown Montreal, like downtown, downtown. <laughs> and I had a double leash because if I would have just tried to walk them one at a time, it would have been way too much effort. So they just naturally are inclined to walk next to each other. And this one likes to disrupt them and play with them. I'll show you how ridiculous people are. So there's a parking lot right there, as you can see. But everybody chooses to park their car along the fence of the baseball fields. I feel like having three dogs could be comparable to some extent to what people who have a lot of children get told when they are in public. <laughs> Every time I just encounter somebody actually, but every time I encounter somebody who comes up and talks to me about my dogs or wants to take a picture or anything of that sort, I always get the same type of response um, on the lines of, 
oh my goodness, you have three dogs. Are they all your dogs or are you a dog walker? And of course I tell them they're my dogs. And then they proceed to say, oh, I can't even imagine having three dogs. Your house must be full of fur and must be so messy, which it is full of fur, but I have to vacuum every single day. <laughs> That's, I guess, a part of the sacrifice of having three dogs, but I love them so much. So I think it works for us. He is so tired. Are you tired, baby? This is Baloo. Yes, he was named after the Jungle Book because he looks like a majestic lion bear dog. And it's funny because the fur around his face, because it is summer, is kind of sun-kissed, so it's looking quite brown. This is Bella. She's also three years old, but slightly younger than Baloo. She has the soft fur. So this is Puka. You can usually find him in the summer laying on a vent <laughs> and usually like, just like this, passed out. He is a social butterfly, so you've probably seen him on stories because he doesn't mind pictures. Meanwhile, my other dogs are slightly shy of pictures. His name is Puka because he is named after the dog from Anastasia. Since he is actually from Russia, he came in on a plane as a baby from Russia. Now, before you go ahead and judge me and tell me that I should be getting um, rescue dogs, I have in the past, my husband and I have, so... Yes, we think that rescuing dogs is a great thing as well, but this was just a breed of dog that we absolutely wanted. And I did a lot of research on this type of dog and I knew what I was getting into. I was busy filming a video over the past few hours and I hadn't noticed that they finished the garage floor and the garage is almost finished. I am going to show you. And all this mess and dust. <laughs> but look, the garage floor looks so nice. Do you like it, baby? Do you like it? He's like, I want to go inside. What's this dust? I'm wearing my comfy clothes now and no jewelry or anything, but I'm outside just relaxing while the dogs play and I will show you what they ended up building for the dogs and the people who will own this house in the future when we sell can use that space for their dogs if they have dogs or as storage. Let me show you. There are two ways to access it. You come behind here and this is a whole space that I'm going to make for the dogs. And let me show you down here. Come on, boo -boo. Let's go, baby. Come on, baby. So there's storage under here that people can use. There are two gates, so one right there and then one that you can't see in there. So the dogs, my goal is I can have them be able to access the, the deck up here, but as well down here, I can put a little pool. They can hang out here when I need them to be out of the house. I, of course, I'm not going to leave them there all day, but I will also put a video camera up there so I can watch them. All right, everyone, so this vlog is separated in a few days because I really wanted to show you the dog treats that I make all the time for my dogs. Super simple, and if you added brown sugar, you could actually eat these yourself. They're pretty delicious. peanut butter so I can put my spoon in it it's, <laughs> it's natural peanut butter I wouldn't recommend you get like the craft peanut butter just because dogs shouldn't really have sugar like that I'm not a dog expert but that is what I assume so I have everything mixed up and I'm just going to go ahead and continue mixing until I find that the consistency is thick enough to um, roll into balls so if I find that it is too watery, I think I have a little bit too much pumpkin in there. I'm just going to keep adding, I'm just going to keep adding some peanut butter. So I wanted to bring up the fact that I'm so happy to have known some of you. I feel like we are kind of friends. Some of you have talked to me through Instagram. And like I mentioned before, that is the whole purpose of why I started my channel. Because I was kind of thrown into this whole homemaking thing, and especially being somebody who was very young. I always wanted it to be very young. I remember telling my friends that I'm going to be married by the age of 21, and I got married at 22. And people used to say, you will change your mind. That's crazy. And 
I was always a believer, I'm a Christian, but that wasn't always the motivation for me to get married so young. I actually developed into my faith more so when I went through experiences in university. So my rationale for getting married young was more so logical. I always wanted to meet my husband so that we could build a life together, really, so that we could go through experiences together and build the foundation of you know, his business, for example, or whatever endeavor that we take on together. I wanted to live that. I find that a lot of people, and I will address this in a future video, they kind of wait to get to that pinnacle of, um, I don't know, success or monetary stability before they get married. And I don't think that you should be completely broke when you get married because that isn't always a wise decision, but basing your entire life and the person that you are going to share every single special moment with in your whole entire life on a financial decision solely is not really something that I believe is right. I don't want to judge anybody, but I just feel like marriage should be about more of the emotional aspect and more of the alignment of the values before it is the financial aspect. And like I said, if you're going to make these for yourself or your kids, you'd obviously add some brown sugar that would taste very delicious, like a fall treat. So now I'm just lining like any type of baking sheet with parchment paper, and I am going to take the pumpkin. It's pretty sticky, but after you roll them into balls, they will solidify because you will put them into the fridge. And I will make some rather gold-sized balls. Now I'm going to stick these into the fridge overnight. I actually did end up cooking a barbecue chicken pizza. It's super simple. I used a crust. I know I can make my own crust, but I was kind of lazy today. So I used the Pillsbury crust, just some chicken, uh, three kinds of cheese, parmesan, a mozzarella, and gouda. Um, I'm gonna sprinkle parsley on top in a few minutes. I don't like to cook the parsley in it. Just some onions, red pepper, you can put anything that you like on it really, and the base is a barbecue sauce. And then I will drizzle on some barbecue sauce on top before I serve it. <laughs> I'm videotaping this. He's loving on the dogs. <laughs> going to end the vlog here. I wanted to say thank you so much for all those of you who have continued to pray for my mother, for all those of you who have reached out to me, who are supporting me on this channel. It makes me sort of emotional, but I have written and read to all of you, I believe. If I haven't got back to your comment, it's just because I didn't see it and I will get back to your comment. For me, it is so important to try to get back to all of you and to form a genuine friendship with all of you. So I hope to see you in my next video and I just love you all. Bye-bye.